Welcome or welcome back on C-Square. In this video clip, we're going to talk about end behavior of polynomial function. So, first of all, let's take a look to a uh, couple things here. Uh, end behavior of, of a polynomial, we have four types. Left up, left down, right up, right down. Okay, uh, the notation you see on the right is a very fancy one, but it, it does say the same thing. For example, the first one says that when x is getting smaller, right, that is the thing here, the function is getting larger. That's the idea. The same story here, when x is getting smaller, now the function is getting smaller. And here, the same story, a fancy notation that probably you're going to use later in some other classes. Okay, and this activity is going to be a discovery where we're going to use some uh, uh, function, polynomial function, and you see eight of them, uh, and we'll see the end behavior. And probably you noticed already, here we have uh, add degree, here we have even degree. Yeah, this, this is going to make a difference, you'll see. It. And also here we notice... Uh, positive, like here, positive, and also we have negative leading coefficients. So yeah, these two things are going to make a difference uh, on the end behavior. And for this reason, I'm going to use GeoGebra. And we have here a, a new math app. So we have this graphing calculator, which I use it. And uh, you notice here you get something like that. So we're going to type the first equation x cubed plus minus 2x squared minus x plus 1. And you notice here the shape. Okay. So the degree is even or odd. It's odd. Uh, the leading coefficient is positive. And now let's take a look at left behavior. Left behavior means what's happened on the left. So you, you notice here on the left. The graph is going down. Uh, right behavior means what's happened here at the right, and the graph is going up. So we say, we say about this graph, uh, left down, right up, or some people just say down and up. Now, turning points in this case is easy to see them. These are what we call the turning points. You see the function is increasing, by the way, increasing. Then it's decreasing and then it's increasing again so these are the turning points we have two of them and increasing and decreasing intervals yeah we do have and in this moment in this uh, show i'm gonna stop right here i'm not gonna really look for the value but we have two interval where it's increasing right here and right here and one interval where it is decreasing and here is nothing about then just estimate uh, the values. Okay, so this is the first example. Uh, degree add, the coefficient positive, and you see is down up. A similar thing, but now we have also a odd degree leading coefficient positive. So basically the same thing. Degree is odd. Leading coefficient is positive. Uh, again, the uh, left behavior is down. Right behavior is up. Turning points. Yes, we have two turning points here. We can see them. Even though the degree is 5. Okay. So, very interesting here. And we do have increasing and decreasing interval, right? Okay. So, this is decreasing. This is an increasing. Again, we're going to stop here uh, on increasing and decreasing interval. It's nothing else than estimate the value at which the whatever pattern happens. Okay, and now we go to the, the other case. What do we have here? We have uh, a degree. The leading coefficient is negative. So what do you notice here? The left behavior now is up, right? But here is up. The right behavior is down. down. How many turning points do you have? Two turning points. 
and again the function is increasing here and is decreasing here okay a similar example of the other one again r degree degree 3 leading coefficient negative right so r degree leading coefficient negative and we notice the same behavior left up right right down right how many turning points we have we have still two turning points okay degree three two turning points and again we can see uh, increasing and decreasing here the function is decreasing here and is increasing here okay and now we go to the uh, the other uh, type of degree in this case you see the degree is 2 is an even number and the leading coefficient is 2 it's positive so let's take a look to the end behavior on the left we notice is up on the right is also up so this is up up we have one turning point right here and increasing and decreasing yeah the function is increasing here and decreasing here okay uh, the second one which is so similar to the other one uh, from some reason right what what's the reason degree is even the leading coefficient is positive one right so let's see left behavior up right behavior up how many turning points we have this is a good one one two three three turning points okay increasing and decreasing interval again the function is decreasing here and decreasing here and is increasing from here to here and from here to here okay again if you uh, in this moment you just can estimate yeah, the function is decreasing from negative infinity to, uh, let's say, uh, negative 1.5. Things like this. And now we're going to move to the last case. We do have an even degree, right? Even degree. The leading coefficient negative. Okay. So what do we notice here? Left down. Right down. So down down how many turning points uh, this is a good one hard to see it how many turning points here we have we have one i will say okay increasing and decreasing interval again it's hard to see it on this function sometimes it's hard to see it but i uh, i guess we can say is increasing here and after that it looks like it's decreasing very hard to read here what's happening okay uh, if you take more math classes you're gonna see what's happened there um, and again a, a similar case of that one again even degree right negative leading coefficient left behavior down right behavior down so down down turning points again hard to see it here one here we can see for sure that and the same story we can notice there are moments where the graph is decreasing and the moments where the graph is increasing okay i have here a summary of everything we did so yeah when the degree is even and positive we have up up or left up right up Degree is even and negative, down, down. These are the last two examples in the slide. When the degree is odd and negative, up, down. And when the degree is odd and positive, down, up. And here I put a, uh, um, another summary about turning points, right? 
uh, you notice we have a number of turning points. The number of turning points is less than the number of degrees, and I said here as at most and minus one turning point. Um, and you notice if the degree was even, uh, the degree was odd, we have an even number of turning points, the degree was even an odd number of turning points. And you see here all these four cases. Okay. Uh, pause this video clip and take a look and try to do this one, just the end behavior. Okay, if you have this sensor, uh, you did a wonderful job. Um, I think we do have the picture. Yes, you see number five up, down, left up, right down. Number six down, down. Number seven down, up. And number eight up, up. If you enjoyed this video clip, don't forget to click the like button down on the right and come back on C square for more clips.